It's a very cruel thing, but nature is inherently unfair. Some people are blessed with good luck and great fortune, while others are just destined to suffer. Well, today we're going to shine a light on those who have suffered and celebrate them for the beautiful creatures that they are. From the unfortunate male lions to a very unlucky pregnant goat, let's meet 20 animals that nature has treated unfairly. <sighs> Number 20. Lions If there's anything to be learned from The Lion King, it's that Elton John sure knows how to write a song, but it's also that, to paraphrase the great philosopher Kermit the Frog, it ain't easy being king. And I guess this is why male lions end their lives so badly. If you just take one look at a pride of lions, you'll see a surprising statistic. There are more female lions, which raises the question, what are happening to the male lions? After all, males and females are born in equal numbers. Well, as it turns out, it's all to do with the male ego. <laughs> When the male lion begins to reach the age of sexual maturity, which is around two years old in this species, the older males tend to get a little bit jealous, so they kick the younger males out of the pride early. From there, the male lions will, as in the movie, roam the wild until they find some friends. But ultimately, the whole thing is a test. The male has to learn to kill or be killed. And unfortunately, not all of them will make it out alive. And that's why male lions often tend to end their lives in such a bad way. Again, it ain't easy being king. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Pregnant Goat there's never a good time to get stuck on the side of a cliff, but if you're a pregnant goat, it's an especially bad time to find yourself stuck on the side of a cliff. In fact, it seems like a pretty unfortunate life all around. A group of tourists were the ones to spot the goat trapped on Songakasan Mountain. They were naturally stunned by how this goat could have gotten herself in such a precarious situation, unable to move. But the situation was about to get more complicated. By the time the experts came in to stage a rescue, the goat had been up there for 10 days, and nobody at that point knew she was pregnant. When the rescue finally began, the complication was how exactly to safely get her out of this predicament. Using a lot of safety equipment and a net, the team tries to catch the goat. But of course it goes wrong, because it turns out nets aren't built for goats, so when the net breaks, the goat falls down the cliff onto the safety equipment. Somehow neither she nor the fetus was harmed in that fall. But I would hope that the safety experts got a real talking to. Catching a goat on a cliff top in a tiny net. Number 18. Rock Puppies when you dedicate your life to helping animals in trouble, you will inevitably see a whole bunch of things you never thought possible. And that's both good and bad. Both, sometimes. Especially when it makes you ask the question, how did you get into this situation? That's the question you have to ask about these adorable puppies. For some unexplained reason, these adorable puppies have been living within the crevice of a mountain rock. For goodness knows how long, they've been without food or water and have had their lives seriously threatened by insects and parasites that live beside them in the rock. Only when somebody heard their crying were the puppies found. Luckily, a team of rescuers came to their aid, pulling them out of the dangerous rock and taking them to a veterinarian for a full health exam. The rescuers went back to catch the mother, hoping to reunite her with her babies. And if you really want the good news, all of the puppies were adopted by a loving woman and have since been shown a huge amount of love and warmth. And to think their lives began in the cold, tank atmosphere of a rock crevice. No animal should have to live like that. Number 17. Death Spiral 
When we think of ants, we think of hard workers and ruined picnics, but we don't tend to think of them as existentially ruined creatures. As it turns out, they're not all that good at the whole independent thinking thing, and when it fails, they… they panic. When a group of army ants lose the main foraging party, they panic. Because ants are apparently unable to think for themselves, the ants will start following one another, hoping to find a replacement leader, unaware that they're actually chasing one another in circles. This is a phenomenon known as an ant mill, or to be more accurate, a death spiral. The ants will just walk in one constantly rotating circle until they eventually die of exhaustion. It's the kind of inevitable death that comes from following the lead of others your entire life. This phenomenon was first observed in 1921, and it's only become more and more common as time goes by. In fact, the very first ant mill reported was at a circumference of around 1,200 feet. That's insane. It took each ant around 2.5 hours to make a single revolution. I never thought I would say this, but I'm much happier to be a human. It's suddenly comforting to know I can die while sitting on the toilet. Number 16. Rat King now, don't even try to tell me that you've never heard of the Rat King. This phenomenon is weird, and it's curious, and it's fascinating. And it's also weird. Did I say that already? Because, well, it's really, really, really weird. The Rat King phenomenon is described as a collection of rats whose tails are somehow intertwined. They could have bound tails because of their hairs getting tangled, or because of something sticky like sap or gum, gluing them all together. There's a whole bunch of reasons that these animals could find themselves physically linked. Still, the Rat King phenomenon isn't all that common nowadays. While there are certainly some still reported and a few specimens preserved in museums for the world to see, it's just not very often that you'll hear about a Rat King being discovered. Unless you live in Germany. For some reason, Germany has long been the number one place for sighting a Rat King. I don't really understand why that's the case, but throughout history, many of the reported incidents have come from the land of Oktoberfest. Maybe it's something in the beer? I don't know, man. I've never been to Germany. But I guess it's the home of the king. Number 15. Stucky the Mummified Dog Be honest with me now. How far would you travel to see a mummified dog? I know it's probably not quite as glamorous as a mummified human, but hey, it's not something you're gonna see all that often, right? Unless you live in, I don't know, Idaho? Maybe it's normal there? I've never been. In 1980, loggers working on behalf of the Kraft Corporation were cutting down tree trunks in Georgia because, uh, well, it was the post-Nixon era, and climate change was still considered a hoax. But when the loggers started to cut through the tree, they happened to discover something unusual inside. A dog mummified in the hollow stretch near the top of the tree. Apparently, the dog had chased a raccoon inside some 20 years earlier and got stuck. Eventually, he starved to death, and that's how Stucky, the mummified dog, got stuck. E. Now the question is, how did this dog get mummified? Surely the body should have decomposed. According to scientists, it's likely because the hollow tree created a chimney effect, creating an upward draft of air that kept the scent away from insects that would have helped the body decompose. How nice. If you're interested in seeing this weird mummified dog in person, it's now the main attraction at the Georgia Tree Museum. Because that's a thing. Number 14. Fawn Rescue Animal rescuers really do deserve all the support and praise and admiration in the world. These people dedicate their lives to helping save animals from certain death, 
Sometimes, in uh, very unusual and unpleasant ways. I mean, would you want to reach into a storm drain? Come on now. These firefighters did. Somehow somebody noticed that a baby deer was stuck in a storm drain. I don't know how specifically anybody noticed that, but somebody did and they notified the authorities. While nobody from Animal Rescue turned up, the firefighters and police decided to take up the task themselves. Which is either a great sign for the fire and crime situation in the town, or a horrible indication of the priorities in the emergency service. Anyway, the firefighter wasted absolutely no time getting down on the floor and reaching into the storm drain. Being such a generally terrified creature at the best of times, the deer was apprehensive, but eventually allowed himself to be saved after the firefighter pet him a few times. After a little bit of a struggle getting the deer to relax, the firefighter was able to pull the deer free. bringing him back into the bright light of the world. And that's how a hunky firefighter man saved Bambi. Number 13. Self-Eating Snake There aren't many creatures on this planet who could actually eat themselves. In fact, you could probably count the species that could do that on one hand. Just don't try to eat your hand, okay? It's not gonna end well. We warned you! Of all the animals that could eat themselves, snakes are obviously the animal that doesn't most often, and it's just never a good idea. Snakes tend to eat themselves for two reasons. They're unable to regulate their own body temperature or because they're stressed. Now I think we can all relate to the second one. It's kind of at the extreme end of comfort eating, but in the snake world, this kind of behavior is common. When a snake is kept in captivity, it can often become restless due to not having much space for movement. That can lead it to overheat or more commonly just get overwhelmed. And if there's no outlet for that stress, guess I've gotta eat myself. Many pet owners have absolutely no idea that their snake is at risk of doing this, and of course, it rarely ends well. Once a snake starts eating itself, it's probably going to lead to the death of your snake. I mean, it can't fully consume itself, that would be uh, insane. But still, please don't try to eat yourself. Number 12. Snowbound Moose Now, I would hope you already know this, but generally speaking, you don't want to go near a moose. If those things are not in the mood for your tomfoolery, they will not hesitate to let you know it. And believe me, it will not be a fun time for ya. However, some people are just so good that they feel a need to help animals even if they may end up getting hurt in the process. These friends were riding around on snowmobiles in Newfoundland when they happened to spot a moose in severe distress. The moose was trapped neck deep in what appeared to be about six feet of snow. It was clear to all of the friends that the moose was in a serious state of distress, so they did what any half-drunken group of friends would. They grabbed their shovels and they got digging. It took some time, but eventually the friends managed to free enough snow around the moose to help him escape. And luckily for the friends, the moose was more than grateful for the kindness shown to him. He didn't even attempt to hurt them, which is... Seriously, pretty noteworthy. Moose are, uh, well, they're not all like Bullwinkle. Number 11. Swans sucked into storm water. Look, you guys know how I feel about swans by now. They're jerks, easily among the top five worst birds on the planet. However, even I could not take joy in seeing these animals suffering. While they do suck, they deserve to live and be happy. This driver happened to spot a pair of swan parents and their three ducklings crossing the road and decided to stop and let them cross. Unfortunately, they picked a very bad day for it. Thanks to intense and heavy rain, the roads were flooding, creating a pretty risky situation on the streets. Pretty soon, these baby swans got caught in the current and washed into the stormwater drain. The parents were, of course, very distressed, but the human in the car leapt into action to try and help. 
hearing the babies calling from the drain, the driver grabbed the tool and began prying the lid off the drain. Eventually, the lost baby was recovered and reunited with its parents, and the whole family rushed off to enjoy the gentle waves of the river. Turns out that, even in the middle of a storm, there's always a chance for a happy ending. You just have to be surrounded by the right people. And also, at least 10 feet away from a storm drain. Number 10. Trapped Orca Sometimes the drama of animal rescue can really take you by surprise. I mean, when you see a beautiful killer whale stranded on a tiny island, you just expect the worst. But then, some humans come along and decide that maybe, just maybe, it's time to restore a little bit of faith in humanity. This whale got beached on some rocks outside of Hartley Bay, off the coast of British Columbia. As anybody with even a passing interest in marine animals knows, beaching is pretty much guaranteed to end in death. It's not a good situation for anybody. For hours, a whale researcher huddled beside the orca, speaking comforting and soothing words as her rescuers kept her cool and wet. They were waiting for the high tide to return, as this was the only way to return her to the water that wouldn't hurt her in some way. The experts say the whale was crying out throughout the ordeal, making this whole thing even more dramatic than anybody could have expected. Residents flocked to the scene and were there for the moment when the tide finally rose high enough to wash this five-ton beauty back to her home. Pretty magical, right? Number 9. Jarhead Bear Winnie the Pooh was famous for getting his head caught in a big jar of honey, but as it turns out, that isn't just some quirky little cartoon habit. It's a very real thing, only in reality it's a lot more dangerous and a lot less sweet. Trisha Hurt and her family were out enjoying a fishing trip on a Wisconsin lake when they happened to spot a bear having a swim. Unfortunately, the poor cub was in a state of distress and panic, having gotten his head stuck inside of a plastic jar. Deciding to help, they attempted to get their boat parked up beside the bear, but it proved a little trickier than any of them expected. Eventually, they were able to help the bear, pulling the jar off his head, and finally freeing his head to the world. You can only imagine how surreal an experience this must have been for the family, but imagine how grateful the bear was when he finally had his head freed from the jar. With that nightmare out of the way, the bear was able to swim to shore and go on with his day. Winnie the Pooh is a bad influence. I have always said it. That honey addiction is a problem. Number 8. Wildfire Wildlife Rescue I don't think we have to explain to anybody just how deadly wildfires can be. These things take lives, homes, livelihoods, and they pose a very real threat to our planet. So let's just take a moment to appreciate the work of the people rescuing animals from a potentially burning fate. During the 2021 Australian wildfires, animal aid agencies all over the country were working overtime to locate, rescue, and protect vulnerable animal species. Their work was incredibly important throughout this troubling time, which is exactly why they earned the support of everybody from the Australian government to Formula One legends like Lewis Hamilton and Daniel Ricciardo. Unfortunately, their work could only go so far, and the animal death count alone proved to be brutal and incredibly disheartening. With over a billion animals killed, still, despite all of this, the world poured together, donating over $200 million for the protection of Australian wildlife. While they couldn't save all the animals, the rescuers worked hard to protect the koalas, kangaroos, and hundreds of other species across Australia from from the very deadly wildfires. And if I have anything to say about it, they did a pretty great job. Number 7. Green Sea Turtle When you're on your honeymoon, there are a huge amount of things that you could do. I mean, it's really a time for romance and love and joy and... Uh, sea turtles? Okay, it's a bit out there, but I guess I could see. Maybe. 
This couple were out enjoying their honeymoon, when they happened to find a giant sea turtle that had gotten itself trapped between the rocks. Given that these creatures are known to weigh up to 350 pounds, it was pretty obvious that lifting it out of there wasn't going to be easy. And sure enough, their efforts to do just that didn't go so well. No matter how hard they tried, the turtle was wedged in there too tightly. So the girl came up with a much better tactic. Grabbing a piece of driftwood, the girl used it to leverage the creature up, eventually managing to get it free. From here, the turtle wandered into the water, and off to the safety and comfort of the ocean. So I guess, yeah, sea turtles probably wouldn't have been on my list of honeymoon stuff, but, uh, well, having seen this, I guess it really does work. Who needs a romantic night together when you can just go save an animal? Number 6. Stuck in the Mud Kenya is home to some truly incredible animals, but it's also home to some wildly dangerous areas. And when I say dangerous, I'm not even talking about the animals that live there. I'm talking about giant mud pits like this. It's like that show Wipeout, but, you know, you die. While out exploring its natural habitat, this beautiful young elephant had some bad luck and ended up falling into the mud pit. When local farmers found the poor guy flailing and trying to escape, they knew that they had to do something. This is no way for such a beautiful, intelligent creature to die, because the sides of the pit were filled with clay. It was too unsafe for anybody to climb in. So the farmers contacted a construction company who brought their digger in to help plow the nearby land, helping the elephant to walk free once more. Now we have no idea what was going through the elephant's mind as all of this was happening, but I think it's safe to assume that he was pretty happy to be allowed the opportunity to walk free once more. I mean, how often do you see construction equipment used to save an animal? Number 5. Tree Trunk Bear Cubs Sometimes it seems like life is just setting up situations as a test of our humanity, you know, as if the universe is saying, come on man, prove that you guys are worthy of living, which is, uh, well, it's a bold gambit considering our history of uh, selfishness. These two baby bear cubs were wandering the Wisconsin wilderness when they saw a tree that looked pretty fun. But after climbing inside, that fun little adventure turned into a nightmare, a piece of falling debris it blocked the exit, leaving them trapped inside with only their snouts poking out of the trees. In fact, it wasn't until a local cabin owner heard their screams that anybody even knew that they were stuck. And when the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources came to check the scene, they were just as shocked as everyone else maybe more so. It turns out that they had never seen anything like it in all their time working. The fire department quickly arrived and began cutting a window into the tree, freeing the cubs who then wandered off back into the woods. Honestly, if I got trapped inside a tree, I'd also want to run away as soon as I could. Although, uh, well, I would probably never go near a tree again. PTSD, post-tree stress disorder. PTS tree. Well, I think we've peaked in terms of jokes. All downhill from here. Number 4. Snow Goat is there a worst way to die? I would guess that anything other than natural causes is pretty much the worst way to go. Although being buried in snow and left to freeze to death has to be up there somewhere, this very morbid thought became an even grimmer reality for this goat. A crew of Austrian workers was clearing snow from a train track when a pretty bold and courageous goat turned up out of nowhere. For whatever reason, the goat seemed to be pretty hypnotized by the train that was speeding toward it. And no matter how much the train honked, the goat wasn't going anywhere. Eventually, the goat ended up being buried by the snow that the plow was clearing out of the way. And come on, even the crew couldn't just let the goat die, right? So the track clearing effort was immediately put on hold as the crew got to work clearing the snow away from the goat. Eventually, the goat was rescued from a potentially icy death, and the the footage of the incident quickly spread across the internet. I guess you could say this was, uh, the goat of going viral? Okay, just because you could doesn't mean you should. Got it. I told you it was all gonna get worse. 
Number 3. Muddy Horses as beautiful as they may be, horses are prone to finding themselves in some unlucky situations. But thankfully, it's only one or two that tend to do this. Or 18. 1, 2, 18, it's all the same thing, you know. Fool me 18 times. Well, we're far beyond shame at that point. These 18 horses were enjoying a spot of water at this uh, questionable-looking drinking hole in northwestern China when chaos struck. They had somehow found themselves trapped in the middle of some deadly mud and had seemingly no way of getting out. Luckily, 10 firemen sprang into action, arriving at the scene like the true heroes they always knew they could be. Wrapping the horses' upper bodies with a rope, the firemen slowly pulled the horses out of the puddle. Or they tried. Turns out trying to pull heavy animals out of a slippery mud bath with rope ain't easy. Who knew? The firefighters turned to a much more practical solution, using a steel wire net and a pontoon and eventually a tractor. Luckily, all of the horses were saved and none of them were harmed in the uh, tug-of-war attempt, which in its own way is kind of a miracle. Number 2. Tree Cow Here's something you don't see every day. A cow in a tree. I know you have many questions, and I believe in transparency, so let me tell you up front. I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. A lot of theories, but absolutely no clue on how exactly this cow got into the tree. Here's what we do know. During the intense floods and winds of Hurricane Ida, Louisiana was hit especially bad. Rivers and lakes were inundated with heavy rains, leading to mass flooding all over the state. Including the very busy highways, that's where this cow was found. Apparently, some very observant drivers thought it was odd to see a cow in a tree and decided to call it in. That eventually led saw crews to stop by the highway, cutting the branches away from the tree and freeing the cow. Again, I have absolutely no idea how the hell the cow got up there. Look, you can argue that it was all to do with wind and rising water, but how? The water comes up to half this guy's height, the cow would surely have to climb the tree, but how? When I'm eventually on my deathbed, I can guarantee my final words will be, can cows jump? Number 1. 11,397 Animals Okay, so we need to unpack this a little bit. You see, between 1909 and 1910, a very well-known public figure ventured into Africa to collect specimens for the National Museum of Natural History. Along with six friends, this person killed over 11,000 animals, which were later put on display. That person was the then-president of the United States, Theodore Roosevelt. Yep, in the space of a single year, Roosevelt and six friends killed or trapped around 11,397 animals. Now, this was positioned to the world as a scientific trip. Roosevelt was allegedly hoping to show the public animals from all over the world. After all, this was a time before the era of international travel. But make no mistake, this was a big old political gambit too. Roosevelt used the hunting adventure to promote the National Rifle Association, celebrating the thrill of the hunt while also celebrating science. So yes, as with all notable figures and humans, Roosevelt was a decidedly complicated man. However, he was also an avid conservationist, which is difficult to believe given how we just talked about how proud he was of killing 11,397 animals. But somehow, he was the first to encourage animal reserves throughout Africa and the USA, so I don't know what to believe. Which animal do you think suffered the worst? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!